Hey guys, come on up here, okay? Come on closer. How is it, and I hear this question all the time, how is it that air kills my performance, and that's a different video, but how does it kill my injection system? You know, fuel's lubricating it. Well, there's several ways, but I'm only gonna talk about one today because we have a perfect video. Go look at your water pump. Go look at the prop on your boat, okay? Look at that air. This is air in your fuel. This is exaggerated on some applications and not on some others, okay? And take a look, imagine your injector surface you know, where the fuel is creating that film, okay? Like an oil is on a crank and rod. And imagine an air bubble, okay? An air bubble over the surface and fuel being around that. That air bubble doesn't really create, it creates a problem, but it isn't the problem. It's a fuel, it's the fuel or the liquid over that bubble and being smacked down, okay? Because it fuels over it and then under pressure it gets hammered down into it and it brings that metal up, okay? That's called cavitation. Here's a perfect video. Look at this video and look at what they're saying and then compare that to the pressures that you're looking at in your fuel injection system. They're crazy much higher. So take a look at that. That's one of the three ways that we save your fuel injection system. Whether you realize it or not, you have probably seen cavitation for yourself. Those bubbles that float to the surface behind moving boats are actually a result of cavitation. For boats specifically, as a propeller spins fast, it increases the localized speed of the water around it. This creates a low pressure zone on the trailing side of the propeller. This low pressure causes the water to boil at ambient temperatures of the fluid, so small steam bubbles are created due to the boiling of the water. These steam bubbles then implode due to the surrounding pressure of the water, then they form again due to the energy transferred from the implosion. For marine engineers, cavitation is to be direly avoided. These underwater steam explosions may be fascinating to an observer, but to a propeller, they are incredibly destructive. When cavitation occurs on or near the propeller of a boat, or even inside pipes or pumps for that matter, it chips away the surface layer of the metal. It may be hard to understand how exactly implosions in water can destroy metal, but you need to understand both the relative energy of the implosion and the relative damage it causes. When a cavitated bubble implodes near metal, it causes high frequency vibrations on the surface of the metal which begins chipping it away. Eventually, after consistent cavitation occurs, layers of the metal are slowly chipped away, possibly leading to catastrophic failure. Cavitation can be mitigated in propeller design. Anywhere that water undergoes a rapid change in velocity, cavitation can occur and cause significant damage over time. The effect creates problems as to the longevity of impeller pump designs. As water is sucked into pumps, if the fluid pressure at the inlet is lower than the vapor pressure of the fluid, then added energy from the impeller can start cavitation. This cavitation then continues in the fluid around the impeller, significantly damaging the internal mechanics. Cavitation, again, occurs in pipes and valves. If you were to switch on a faucet or open a valve too fast, cavitation can occur in the transition area of the fluid involved. 